Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. I'm really happy you stopped by. I am back at it again with another haul for you from a brand that I haven't hauled in quite some time. I think it's been a few months, but I'm back at it with another fantastic Boohoo haul. So if you're interested in seeing what I picked up, be sure to stay tuned. Now, for those of you who are not familiar with Boohoo, I'll just explain a little bit about the brand. It is an e-commerce based fast fashion brand i would say they do carry plus size and straight size and i would say that a lot of their options are a little bit more trendy um affordable lots of like good basics and solids and things like that so i got a good variety of things that i think you're gonna love today real quickly for anyone who's new here if you need a refresher I do wear a US size 24 in most brands and I am on the taller side at 5'11", so keep that in mind as you see me try these pieces on. Normally I would tell you the sizes of the items as I try them on, but I double checked before starting this video and every single piece that I picked up from Boohoo is in the US size 24. So my tried and true size, I haven't tried these on yet, trying them on with you for the first time, so fingers crossed we've got some winners here. Let's hop on in with it with the first outfit here. So I've never tried Boohoo denim, or if I did, it was a very long time ago. So I wanted to give some jeans a try. So I picked up these distressed skinnies. I liked them because they were a dark wash. They're a high rise. The thing I'll say about these though is that they're kind of like an odd fit. Um, they're like pretty like loose, not loose, but comfortable on the waist but they are so tight in like my knee area, like trying to pull these up, they have like no stretch in the legs, which is so weird, so weird. So like I could actually get these to be a little bit of like a higher rise, honestly, um, but like they don't go up any higher because they don't stretch enough in like the knees and the leg. So this is what I have. Um, again, these are the size 24, which is my standard size. Sometimes I do go up in denim on bottom just because I am more of that pear shape so my bottom half is larger than my top half but these actually fit really really well outside of the fact that the legs are just like so stiff and I just like I can't even like bend my knee up it's so awkward like I don't think I've ever had denim do this before like I can't even really walk in them it's like I can't bend my knees so strange you guys will have to let me know down below if you've tried boohoo denim before if you have similar issues I want to say if I've tried this, these denim pieces before, like I don't remember the legs being an issue, but correct me if I'm wrong. Maybe this is just the exception and not the rule, but this is the only pair of denim I chose, so it's kind of a bummer. And to pair with these jeans, I found this really cute black cropped top. This is so sherry, it hurts. Like, just going to go on the record and say it. It's black, it's like a sweetheart squared neckline, bardo style, you could do it off the shoulder, above the shoulder, cuff sleeve, it's just oh, so good. It does have a little bit of like a stretch too in the back, which is nice. This one is a little bit like form fitted and snug, so I would actually almost go up a size if I could, just to have a little bit more comfort like in this area. So you're gonna to wanna to stay pretty true to size or go up a size, I would say. This one is in the 24, which is my standard size. The sleeves fit wonderful. It's black. It's a classic look. Need I say more? Next up is this just really casual outfit. So the same jeans that I had on, again, not a huge fan of those, but I wanted to leave them on because they are Boohoo and this is a Boohoo haul. <laughs> Um, but I also picked up this like California Beverly Hills tea. I know that like these types of teas are really trendy. I've never really given them a try, but I think that they're just like fun, easy, grab and go. I adore this color so much. <laughs> this like lilac lavender is so cute, especially this time of year. And if you have like a deeper skin tone or a little bit of a tan going on, Girl, you're gonna look good. Um, I like this. It's just easy. I do wish it were much more oversized and like long because I would really love to like tie this up and do a cute little like cropped length, but it's just like it fits me barely like as is. So that's kind of a bummer. I think this could be really cute. Again, if you were to get it like oversized, if like you're a smaller size, order like this size. 
and wear it with like some biker shorts or something it'd be really cute but in the, the 24 like the US size 24 if you're like a 3x this is what it's gonna fit you like so just know that you're kind of limited there but if you are on the smaller end and you can go up a couple of sizes I think that this could be a really cute option next up is another bright bold color for summer this beautiful pink that's what drew me to this top honestly was the color I love the color and then also the tie detail here on the shoulders these are real ties so you can adjust this to like the length that you need it does have kind of like that smocked midsection and it's like that linen like material where not linen but like that blouse like material like a button-up blouse so it's going to kind of wrinkle and probably not like travel very well so keep that in mind but it's cute i don't love this on me i think it has a lot of potential i'm going to tell you why i don't love it on me because i have such a long torso this should really probably hit me like two or three inches lower than where it is and it would be super cute i feel like if i were to shrink down and bring this down and like cut my torso in into like a section um it would be cute but because it bells out right here i just feel like it hits me at the really wrong spot it's not as flattering as it could be and i'm just not feeling very like comfortable in it because i feel like it fits me in a very odd like awkward manner so i just don't have like the confidence that i would have in another top like this if it were like fitting as intended so this one's unfortunately a no for me but again the color is great if you don't have such a long torso i think that this could be a great option and it has adjustable straps winner next up is the only piece of swimwear that i picked up but i think it's a real winner guys this is so cute so cute just a forewarning there is no padding in this at all or any kind of coverage piece like that so if you're not comfortable with having all of that exposed just be no like just know that that's not the case with the swimsuit it does have a nice underwire though so you do feel rather supported pretty thin sheer fit fabric though for the most part but what sold me on this swimsuit was the freaking color and the pattern like it's this beautiful pastel rainbow ombre i died when i saw this i was like this is so cute now also just want to say happy pride month to all of my LGBTQ plus community friends, allies, etc. I am an ally myself and I love Pride Month and I love, you know, rainbow and everything like that. But I feel like sometimes brands take it to like an extra tacky level. I've seen it go really, really well in some brands that just do it really, really bad. I'm not gonna name any names, but there are a few this year that I've seen where I'm like, oh my gosh, no one is going to wear that. This, I think, is a very cute option if you want to, you know, honor and celebrate pride in pride. <laughs> this is a really cute option because it's still rainbow, but it's a muted rainbow. It's flirty. It's fun. It's not gaudy. It doesn't look like something out of a Lisa Frank coloring book. I don't know. I just think that this is a really cute option. I didn't get this with the intentions of like, oh, pride month is coming up, but when I took it out of the package and realized, wow, we're already into June, this is a perfect piece for Pride Month. I love it. Now I will say, I was a little bummed because as I was trying this on, the underwire from this side popped out. So I'm likely going to exchange this because I think it's really cute and I will definitely wear it. Um, it's just, I think maybe I got a, a default or a faulty one, but I'll just exchange it. Now let's just talk about the fit a little bit. So the bottoms are so comfortable. Like these are plenty stretchy, both in the size 24. Nice like high rise, a little bit below the belly button on me. I think, again, I have a longer torso. So this will likely fit you as more of a high rise for most people. The back is definitely like a full coverage, not really a cheeky vibe here, which is nice just very comfortable like I literally feel like I'm wearing like underwear <laughs> and not a swimsuit as I wear this which is like such a good feeling because there's nothing worse than like restrictive uncomfortable swimwear am I right so this is a really cute option I'm now intrigued to maybe look at boohoo for more swimwear options I gave some of their swimwear a try in my last haul and I got a bunch of one pieces, which just proved to be way too short for my torso. But maybe the bikini route is the way to go. What do you guys think? Spicy, say hi.
Spicy's making her cameo. I know some of you have asked, like, where's Spicy been? I promise you she's still here. Trust me. She's still here bugging me <laughs> every day. But she had to say hello today. So, Spicy, say hi. Oh, she said hi to you guys. <laughs> yeah. Oh, she misses you guys. <laughs> this next dress is very much like Disney called and they want Cinderella back but like baddie version. Now, I'm not wearing any shapewear with this just because I wanted to show you guys like what it looks like IRL. <laughs> um, if I were to wear this, I would absolutely wear some slimming shapewear. Something with some good control to kind of just like seal, conceal this area, really smooth it out. But I wanted you to see it as is, like I said. It is this beautiful blue color. A great stretchy material that is very form-fitted and curve-hugging. A nice like sweetheart neckline. Bardo style. It's easy. It's stretchy. Again, if you're not comfortable with something super form-fitted, like this is not the dress for you. But I do think the color is beautiful and it comes in other colors as well. I think it came in like a black. I want to say like a tan or a cream. And I think one other color, if I'm not mistaken. So if you're not as comfortable in something as like bright as this one, you could opt for the black dress and have it be a little bit more, you know, toned down, but still achieve this really cute look. Overall, I think it's pretty cute. What do you guys think? And last but not least is this really cute black and white spotted dress. It kind of has like an animal print vibe to it. I love that it is white with black polka dots or dots instead of the other way around. I think it's a great summer option. I love it when they flip the, the pattern there. This is kind of that ruffle style where there's different kind of tiers with ruffles on the bottom. A good like maxi-ish length. I am taller so it hits me a little shorter which is normal. I will say that this is kind of an odd fit that I didn't expect. It's like super blousey up here in the chest like in like almost the armpit area, but it fits great in the bust. And it does have like the smocked back. So I'm not really sure why they created this extra like a gapage on like the pit area, knowing that there's a smocked back. I don't know, I didn't design the dress, but I think it's kind of a design flaw in my opinion, because there's this extra fabric that's not needed. I did also try this on without a bra on to see if that would make a difference, but it's essentially the same look, just you don't see my bra. And I don't love it because I feel like it looks a little disheveled. It looks that like I picked up a dress that was too big and then had it altered everywhere but here, <laughs> which makes no sense, right? But other than that, it's cute. <laughs> um, it's got like no stretch to it. It's that fabric that is non-stretch, but it does have the smocking in the back um no stretch kind of in the hip area but it just kind of lays and hangs flat anyways which i think is good i don't know you guys are gonna have to tell me what you think about this one i love the print and the thought of this i just don't know if i can get past this gaping gap here and if it's really worth like having it altered this was like a 20 dollars dress i don't know you guys tell me. <laughs> and that is everything that I picked up from my most recent Boohoo haul. Thank you so much for being here and watching this till the end if you're here with me now. I really appreciate it. I hope you found some things that you enjoyed. I think I found a couple of really great things and a couple of things that eh, are okay and some things that I know I'm gonna send back. But overall, I think it was a good experience. Like I said, it had been a while since I'd given this brand a try, and I've heard your feedback loud and clear. You want more variety, more diverse brand selection. So I'm taking your thoughtful feedback into consideration as I select which brands I choose and haul in the future. So hopefully this is like a breath of fresh air for you in terms of brand selection here on my channel. I'm gonna continue to bring more additional brands in as we go. Let me know down below what some of your favorite items were and if you found anything cute or boohoo lately, I'd love to know. Thanks again so much for tuning in. As always, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. That really lets me know that you like the content that I have here on my channel. And if you're not already a subscriber, I encourage you to join us here. We'd love to have you along for the journey as we dive deeper into plus size fashion. Thank you so much again for tuning in and I will be sure to see you in the next one. Take care.